Drew knows what he likes. He's like, I like you, I'm going to show you. But what's very ironic is like later on, I don't feel like it was like that. I was not being stubborn, I was being logical. That someone would fly 1,800 miles we knew and each then other drive really, really another 1,800 miles. <laughs> Love is not logical. It's Valentine's Day and I'm going to be making a treat for the kiddos and for Drew, for Drew too, not just for the kiddos. And we're gonna talk about our love story. I've like grown so much since the last time I shared our love story. And it's a love story that is very near and dear to my heart. I absolutely love it. I could talk about it all the time. And honestly, I'm really sad that Drew's not here because he makes it so much better. Because he likes to add things that he remembers. I feel like he's wrong, but it also just makes it, I don't know, it's like the whole bantering back and forth between like couples. I love that. I love doing that with my husband. You guys may find it annoying or like, why are you always doing that? Drew and I crave that, like, like doing like the little, I don't know if I would call them fighting. But anywho, we are going to make pumpkin cupcakes with cream cheese frosting. I'm going to dye it pink just to give it an element of Valentine's but it has chocolate because you love chocolate and the kiddos love pumpkin. This is something really easy. I make this recipe all the time. I make it with yellow cake mix. I know some people are like, well, can't you do it like from scratch? You guys, I have five kids. I like to do things that are very, very easy for me. And so while yes, I can do it and I can share that recipe if you guys are interested, I like something that I can make it really, really fast. So that way I can make something before the kiddos come back from school. So let's start. So you're going to follow the directions just like this on the cake mix box. The same amount of eggs. Sometimes I put extra eggs. And then some people like to do vegetable oil. I don't. I like to use butter instead. But we're going to eliminate the water because we have the pumpkin mix. So we're going to start off with that. So Drew and I met um, at 17 at 2007. Yeah, 2007. So I don't even know how many years. It's been like more than like 15, 20 years now since we met. But um, we met at a church camp. And when I first saw Drew, I wish I could say it was like love at first sight. I think it was for a Drew, but mostly I was so excited to go to this camp. My parents were very, very strict. My parents were Haitian and we never got to do anything. Like, I don't know if any Haitian people, you're all, you're all watching, but all I did was l'église, la caille, l'école. That's it. I didn't go anywhere. M'bale l'école? No. Seulement l'école, l'église, and man la caille. That's it. That's all I ever went. And that was really hard because I would have friends at school and they'd be like, you want to go out? And I'd be like, oh, I had fun yesterday, so that means I can't have fun today. That was very, very hard for a lot of people to understand because they're like, what do you mean? I'm like, what I just said, I had fun with you guys yesterday for 30 minutes. That means I can't have fun with you today. Do you guys not understand what that means? I had a friend who was like, hey, I'm going to the summer camp. Do you want to go? And I was like, oh my goodness, yes. But my parents are going to say no automatically. And she's like, well, how do you know? Is it the money? And I'm like, I wish I could save the money, but they're going to tell you that it's the money. And she's like, well, well, then why don't you just save for it? Then it's like one last thing that they have to like tell you it's about, like the way you can't go. So we came up with like this idea on how we could save up money for this. And so her mom had a garage sale. And then she's like, if you help me with this garage sale, I'll give you a certain amount of money for this like camp. So I just added the whole can of pumpkin puree and then I'm going to melt the butter and add the eggs. So we had this garage sale and then after the garage sale, we saved enough money and then I went to my parents. I don't remember if I had my friend's mom come, which I probably did because I knew strength was not only in numbers, but also having another adult. I feel like all parents know this, how kids will always make sure there's another adult there. So it, may, it gives them pressure for the parents to say yes. Yeah, I knew that trick too. I wouldn't say I was a bad kid, but I was not a bad kid. I only ever wanted to do like not crazy things, but things that I knew my parents wouldn't want me to do. Like they didn't want me going away for a whole weekend. And even though I wanted to, I knew if I could convince my friend and her mom to talk to my parents that they would actually want to, like my parents will say yes, which obviously we know that they did. They did say yes. I'm just mixing this up really, really well. I like to put all the wet ingredients all together. It just makes it easier for mixing. I went to a high school in Jersey and we just had like one of those like home ec classes. And she always taught me like, you're gonna wanna mix the wet ingredients first. 
I'm gonna melt this and I only need half. So obviously my parents said yes and I got to pack and I honestly was just excited to be away from like home with my parents permission because I have never done it before and not be in trouble. Like, I was like, oh my goodness, like, I had my sister who has snuck out of the house all the time. So for once, I was like, I got to be away from the house. I got permission. I'm not going to be in trouble. So I was really excited. Now, I do remember the first time I saw Drew. And it was like on our first day when our, because at this camp, you separated by groups. So that way you can really get to know people. So I was really excited about being able to go to this camp without being in trouble. And so you would think that I like went like crazy and I didn't. It was like a church camp, right? There was not much I was gonna be able to do. Now, when we met the guys, like I said, I don't feel like it was first like love at first sight. Not to say like I did not think Drew was attractive because I definitely thought he was attractive. I just don't know. I was just not that type of person who'd be like, oh my goodness, like there's a guy here, like this boy's here. Like googly moogly that's just not my thing but drew like showed that like, he was very interested like from the very beginning you know i'm gonna add this in i wanted to cool it down but whatever we're gonna do it anyways if it turns out bad we're going to blame something else not the fact that i put warm butter but we're also going to cool this down in the fridge for a little bit so i think that will help you know those pretty dome muffins that you get like from the bakery my goal is for my like, cupcakes not to only taste like that because I feel like they taste like that especially when I'm using stuff from scratch I want it to look like that and we haven't achieved that yet and that's probably because I like to take shortcuts but anywho Drew showed that he's very interested from the very beginning whenever we would play games because they would have like little church games he made it like he always made it where he would like come near me so if it was like we were all together as a group. Drew was like right next to me, like by my hip. And I like that because he just seems so sure about himself. He seems so sure like what he likes, which I really enjoy about being someone like that. It's like, Drew knows what he likes. He's like, I like you, I'm going to show you. But what's very ironic is like later on, I don't feel like it was like that. So all the boys made flour and Drew was like, no, 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 my girl needs to have real flour. So then he went and picked hydrangeas i still love hydrangeas just because of him like if i can find a picture i'm going to post a picture like right here uh of me and like it's like in a blue green dress it's probably one of my favorite dresses i had in high school and then drew got me hydrangeas and we took pictures and i absolutely still remember it it's like blue hydrangeas it was like blue and white i'm gonna add this in and you add the whole thing and i just do it slowly we're not going to add any liquids because we added the whole can of pumpkin Right. So Drew at um, the dances that we had during that week, he made sure to ask me as many times as he could for like to ask me to dance with him, which again, I really, really liked. And at the end of the week, he wrote his number at the back of my agenda. He, but this is how I know Drew was meant to be a nurse from the very beginning. His handwriting was atrocious, like so, so, so bad. And when I mean bad, it was bad. And I tried so hard to figure out what the number was. And it was just, I, I could, it was like, what's the word? Illegible. There we go. Look at me. Look at me. Who would have thought me using big words like this? I love it. So uh, it was really, really illegible. And I tried like putting a whole bunch of numbers in to see if I could like figure it out. And I really could not figure it out. And it was really sad because I'm like, man, I really want to see this guy. Like this is a guy that I felt like I had a really good connection with. But it just didn't work out. So we basically lost in touch and we haven't talked to each other for about, oh, that is, I should have sifted this. You could sift this if you want, but that's bougie and we're not trying to go for that right now. We went three years of like not talking to each other. We were both in college and then one day I get a message and it's from Drew on Facebook. And he's like, hey, how, how have you been? It's so nice to see you. So when Drew found me, we started talking. I, we exchanged numbers. And then we still didn't date. And by that time, I kind of just assumed kind of like, oh, too much time has really passed. So, so, so much time has passed. He must not be interested. I might not be the person he's looking for. Totally fine. And Drew was just like a really sweet guy. And like, he was just like, he's just the like kind of guy See, like, if you something breaks down or you need someone to talk to, he's there. And he's such a good listener, like extremely really good listener. And I love that he was like that. So every year on my birthday and every two to three months, which should have been a sign that he was interested, but I was like cuckoo. I had no idea. 
but every three months and then every year on my birthday he would just call just to chat chat well of course we like like hung out every couple of times but in reality all we really did was just talk on the phone a lot and when i say a lot i mean a lot okay here's what it looks like very orangey i'm trying to decide if i want to dye it pink but i also don't know color theory well enough to think like if i dye it orange if i want to dye it pink what color do i need to add to it to make it true pink and i don't feel like doing math today okay we're gonna try it i got some colors up in here Honestly, this just made it look like poop. Let me see. Oh, this looks way better. So, like I said, we spent a couple years. We spent, I think, I want to say four years of just talking to each other, hanging out a couple times, and just in group settings. And that wasn't on purpose, at least not that I think it was on purpose. Maybe it was on purpose. I don't know. Not on my end. It was never on purpose. Actually, I took it back. I was the one that would invite him to like game nights where we play video games with groups of friends because I was a gamer. You would not believe it. Actually, I don't even want people to know. I don't want my son to know that I actually like playing video games because he'll be like, what's your deal, mom? Like, why don't you let me play video games as much as you like to play it? But anywho, we would hang out in group settings, but then Drew like never showed or indicated that he was still interested so i genuinely thought that he was not interested anymore so we have mixed everything in here this is pink or red it's pink because we're gonna be pooping pink for like days this looks so good this looks red and it almost looks like it's like red velvet so if you want to turn orange into pink add purple red that looks fantastic. We're gonna chill this in the fridge for about 15 minutes. It's like 15 and 20 minutes. And then I'm going to preheat the oven to 375. We put it in the oven at 375 and then we lower it to 350 for the rest of the time. And it's supposed to get that nice domey look. Again, this is not foolproof yet. Foolproof? This is not foolproof yet. This is not foolproof yet. Proof. I can't say it. <laughs> This is not foolproof yet. There we go. This is not foolproof yet. Um, I'm still trying to figure it out because I can make my cupcakes taste awesome. I just could not get them to look like that how I want. I'm not a baker, but I'm just someone who loves, truly likes to bake at home and can make his like the look. And you guys are laughing because you're like, Gina, this is from a box. I know. I'm just, this is something to be quick for you and me on those days for us moms where we're like, we want to do something extra for our kids, but we don't want to have to pull out everything. So I'm going to put this in the fridge. Let it chill for about 15, 20 minutes. We're gonna preheat the oven and then we're gonna resume. All right, so we just took this out. It's been chilling for about 15 minutes. We put cupcake liners in every other. It's supposed to give space for the cupcakes to kind of grow and be like voluptuous and curvy like we want them, hopefully. I'm also gonna add chocolate chips for a little less than a cup. It's all right, it's cool, cool, cool. It's not like Drew uses chocolate chips to put on his Frosted Flakes. I don't know, we're just winging it right now. We're gonna put these in. And then I'm going to pull the box out of the trash again to see what time I'm supposed to, how long I'm supposed to bake them because we know we'll all do that. So hold on. 16 to 21 minutes. Alexa, put a timer for 20 minutes. So we didn't get to finish. At least I baked all the cupcakes or most of the cupcakes. And then the kids already like ate half of them. I was them. giving them out like candy. Well, I they asked. Like, they did ask for them. Like, sure, here you go. So, yes. I called Gina on her birthday. Wish her happy birthday. She's like, oh, thank you. I asked her how her summer was going because she'd been selling pest control in Arizona. And then she started to tell me about how she was about to start traveling back. But all her girlfriends, like, they either couldn't drive stick shift, which is what you had for your car. Or they were staying out there and leaving later than you and you didn't want to make the long trip by yourself. No, I couldn't. You had one. No, that's not how you, you didn't say, I can't make it. You're like, I have one friend that'll come out, but then she still can't drive my car. So then I'm still driving the whole way and I'm just not looking forward to it. And I was like, well, that's not a problem. I'll fly out there and I'll drive with you back to Georgia. And you're like, oh, okay, cool, cool, cool. That's that's awesome. And then we chatted like a little bit more and then that was it. Like we hung up. I guess Gina didn't think no, I was serious. that was not how it is. You know how you have that friend who says, yeah, I'll be there. And then you're just like, whatever, they're not going to be there. And they show up great, but more than like you just thinking that they're not going to show up. That's what I thought was going to happen. Gina to thought I was a flake. I didn't say that. That was a big deal to fly all over North Dakota to go to Arizona 
to do this. Like I just didn't expect it. Mm -hmm. And I planned accordingly and then I flew out there and you had some conversations with your friends when you told them from what you told me, they were like, oh, he's into you, Gina. He likes you. And you're like, no, he's just a friend. He's just a friend. No, he's were, just coming just to help a, out. You were just a friend and you were just coming to help out. Yeah. yeah. So they were able to see in between the lines and you were being stubborn. I was not being stubborn. I was being logical. That someone would fly. You, we have no 1800 other, miles. We knew each other for really, really another long time. 1800 miles. Love is not logical. How many days did it take us road tripping from Arizona to Georgia? Almost a week. It was day three we had our first kiss, I believe. No. It was like that. day four, day five, dude. Had our first kiss in Baton Rouge, and then was it the next day I confessed my feelings for you? Like, I really like you. No, you confessed your feelings to me, like, on, um... Oh, that was in Atlanta. No, it wasn't. It was in Dallas. I remember it was by a tree, like a big tree. We were both sitting by a big tree. That was Dallas. That was Atlanta, I think. It was not Atlanta. Was it? There's no, I don't There's look no right way now. how it could have been no, Atlanta, because we never went to Atlanta first and then went back. You may be right. You may be right. Uh, not maybe. When is the last time I've been wrong? Uh, never. I don't right. want it now. It's I'm sorry. Late. You're right. We'll talk about Will it Will you therapy? be my Valentine's? No. <laughs> yeah, I guess it was day three or four, confessing my feelings. Day five or six, I mustered up the courage to give Gina a kiss. I basically knew by the end of the trip, I need more time with this girl. Like I am, if not in love, pretty much falling in love. And you said you were in love with me. I was pretty much in love. But just so you guys know a tip, you always want to make them work for it a little bit. You know, you don't want to just put it all out there because that'll scare them away. So you make them. Work. So I knew as soon as the trip was almost over, like, okay, if I'm not in love, I'm definitely falling in love. You told me you were in love. Like I said, don't give them everything all at once. And I just knew there was no way, like, we were going to be doing this, like, long distance relationship thing. I didn't want to even try doing that. And so I left, when I left Gina in Georgia, I left with the idea of, like, I want to very rapidly come back and start dating this beautiful young lady. Um, when like did you know that you were in love with me? When we started talking on the phone, like when mm -hmm. you were in North Dakota, I think those are the moments that I remember like, oh man, I really like talking to this person. It's really enjoyable. It feels like not hard, doesn't feel difficult. And like you were very so sure about everything. Like that didn't make me feel sure, but I li I like I like that part of you. Mm -hmm. That's what part I really like. So <laughs> I think that's what I like knew because I knew I liked you and I mm -hmm. knew that I really liked being around you. And we had been friends for a really long time too. And so I think that's one of those things. So the rest is history. Three months dating, about three months, four, three to four months engaged, engaged and then married, and then. Five kids later, here we are. Mm -hmm. All right, y'all have to excuse me because I'm about to eat some of these cupcakes. All right, well, I'm so glad that you guys had to spend some time. I will put the recipes to both of these. Yes, I will share my secret recipes uh, in the description. And then you guys let us know in the comments if you'd like to see more recipes with me, with Drew, or with me and the other kiddos. You know, y'all don't want it. But um, we'll see you guys next time, guys. Bye. Rule number two drive them crazy. Move. You're acting like your dad right now. Rule number three heck. <laughs> if you say another rule, I'm going to punch you. The final not. The final not rule. It's not no, a rule. Walk away. Walk, walk away. I'm just going to say. <laughs>